everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and today in this doll review, I had the Isil Classical Alice series Mad Hatter to unbox and review with you guys. Here's a look at the side. I love how they customize each box um, for the doll, and they're all unique. And finally, the back, which has your warnings. Okay, so the different accessories the Mad Hatter comes with is a gold doll stand, this in this style 10 over 6 card that is a pin that you can pin to his hat, his Issel card, classical Mad Hatter, which has a nice photograph of him, and then on the back, Issel is Pulip's brother. And we have his hat, which comes with this jo um, Jack card pin already pinned in there. It's a nice fabric hat, and it has a clip inside, so you clip it to his hair and keep it on his head. So this Mad Hatter has long, wavy, red-brown hair, and... Um, it's a little bit messy. This wig, it kind of feels a little bit dry. It's not very soft. So um, it's not very pleasant feeling to it, which is a little disappointing. And it's held together with this little tie, this gold embroidered hair tie. And he has the bangs, which I tried to keep it like his um, card picture and like push him to the side. Here's a look at his stock face up. He has nice blue around his eyes, um, a dark brown eyebrow, some light pink on his lips, and then his eyes are pretty cool. They're yellow and blue. These show you the eye movement. They can go side to side. And then each eye can close. And the lids are just like a fleshy color with the dark line. Going down into his outfit, which is definitely the best part of him. It's so detailed. You have this fancy collar with a gold key. His blue and white striped vest with these heart buttons in the front. And then this awesome green jacket has all these chains for the closure in the front and you have um different suits of cards printed on his uh his cuffs and the lapels of his jacket and if you turn them around the back is just as detailed with all this gold trimming and the jacket and the vest and the underneath shirt are all separate pieces um to remove the jacket there are these clips for the belt. You just like take those off and then you'd be able to take the jacket off. And then for the vest, it's just like Velcro in the front here. And then you can see even the undershirt has as much detail as the jacket, even though with the whole outfit on, you don't see it, the detail is still there. And then he has these blue checkered pants that have that gold trim and match the jacket with the cuffs and the little bows and then he has some black and white striped socks and finally these gold loafer shoes here he is with his hat and his complete outfit on and he looks so adorable i adore this isol classical mad hatter um, the only issue I had was with the wig kind of feeling rough and dry and, but it looks nice. You just don't want to like touch it because it's not soft and silky. But other than that, I think he is amazing and all that detail and his eyes really pop with that gold and blue. And my overall rating for this Issel doll from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would give him an 8. I'm taking a couple points off for the state of the wig, but I definitely recommend him to 
Issel and pull-up lovers and people who like Alice in the Wonderland or Mad Hatter. I think you'd really enjoy this doll. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye!